So I think we're we're probably going through, I guess, sort of quite an an ugly an ugly stage here, <laughs> in the um, in the drawing. And and you know, it's not really an ugly stage, is it? But uh, there are certain stages of a drawing that I think, or there are certain stages that a drawing always sort of goes through, and. Um, particularly with colored pencil it's a it's a tricky one because it's such a slow medium that uh you know it can look a little bit weird for for quite a long time with it being quite a slow medium and um it, it can be re it can be really quite off-putting you know if you're sort of drawing something and it's not looking particularly nice it's very very easy to lose sort of confidence and motivation and everything like that with it it's um it's quite understandable really that that you know that that's what would that's what would happen um but it's how you kind of stay on top of that and how you kind of keep that momentum and the confidence when you're drawing a piece and you're thinking ooh this is not looking great at all and i think the the um for me I think it's knowing that that's part of the process, knowing that, you know, it's when you're when you're doing realism, when you're drawing something that looks real um, or you want it to look real, you have to kind of um, look at it and think, well, hang on a second. It's not going to look real with just one layer of pencil. It's not going to look real with just two layers of pencils. It's going to look real with a few layers of pencils and a bit of jiggery pokery and what have, a, what have you in between. You know, and once you kind of get that into your head and you think, well, actually, you know, yeah, of course it looks a bit dodgy when I've only got one layer of pencil down. Then you can start to really understand the process and you can start to enjoy it as well and see that that actually, you know, it's um, it's OK. And everybody kind of goes through the, a similar sort of phase in their drawing. Um, and, and I think, you know, knowing that helps. And when I first started out drawing, I used to have little post-it notes on my drawing board and they would say things like, you know, keep layering, um, you know, uh, uh, follow the process. Don't worry if it looks horrible, <laughs> um, you know, because they do. It does look horrible from time to time. And because I work in sections and, and that's another reason that I work in sections, actually, and why I like to work in sections and why it works for me is because I can bring a piece up to the so it looks finished. You know, I can bring sort of like the little eye there. I can bring the eye to sort of like a, you know, so it's pretty much finished. And then when I look at it, it feels like there's a little dog, you know, looking back at me. Obviously, there's a huge amount to go still. But, you know, same with the same with the body area. I bring it up to sort of um, in sections and that makes it much, much easier for me then to um, to get over these sort of stages where it's you kind of lose a little bit of uh, momentum and motivation and all of that type of stuff. You know, I mean, everybody's different. Everybody's different. And it's um, it's just, just trying to find another pencil here. Oh, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that um, terracotta in there. Um, you know, it's just really just just really important to understand that 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 this is what's going to happen when you're drawing um you know there are certain things that i do to help me with my um you know with it not looking ugly all of the time um and that is to do the eyes first and when i do the eyes i always work on the outside of the eye first and then i work on the inside and that means that um the structure and the size and the shape and everything like that is correct because I've worked through, you know, uh, from the outside inwards. And I always find if you just draw an eyeball, it looks, well, I say that all of the time, it just looks really weird if you draw an eyeball. So you kind of need the outside in there. So that really, really helps, um, you know. And and sort of, I tend to bring the, um, the texture in quite early on in my pieces so you know when I'm doing the first sort of elements of the fur I'll sort of bring in the structure of the fur straight away and that again that really really helps because it, it sort of helps to bring that sort of you know the fur in and make the fur look a little bit real um, you know from the start and then you can build on it and build on it and build your layers and everything but if you've got sort of like a nice piece of work where you've got you know, basically all of the hair in there. It's um, it's quite nice and it works really nicely. You know, so it's doing doing things that are going to help you. Don't 
don't do things to make things harder for yourself if you're going to do something do it because it's going to help um and um you know and then it's going to sort of make you feel better about your drawings um you know because drawing's hard enough as it is without without having to you know make things harder for yourself so that's that's what i would do you know with the ugly stages make 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 sure that when you're drawing you draw in the fashion that you like and what's easiest for you some people like to work in um in sections some people like to work all over i think it's really really important to sort of understand what works for you so i need to bring a little bit of purple in here i think I'm just going to bring that black up there but um yeah so ugly stages just make sure you've got I don't know I, I think little post-it notes are great because they're like little reminders sat all over your drawing board and everything and they just remind you that it's absolutely normal for a piece to look horrible um, you know and also surface dependent we're working on drafting film at the minute and drafting film you can get your details in there really quickly but you know if you're working on a pastel mat for example you know you wouldn't bring your details in um, particularly quickly it's going to take a while to get your your base layers and everything in there so it's um you know it's surface dependent it's it's you know what pencils you're using all of that sort of stuff but knowing that it's part of the process i think is really really important and uh, can can help keep your sanity when you when you're uh, you know when you're thinking your pictures like oh my lord this is looking awful um you know it's uh, it's just one of those things that we all we all go through but the other thing as well is you know if you're going through those stages where you're thinking oh gosh my, my piece is looking horrible you, you've got to i think that bit of self-coaching there really helps too just bringing yourself back and asking you know is, does it look horrible is that actually true or are you just being a bit of a, a nana and you know pulling yourself down and you'll probably find it's just you you know a little bit of uh, negative self-talk and and you can sort of swap that for a bit of positive and remind yourself about what's going on. And then you can get over those ugly stages. So, um, yeah. It's a... I'm, well, I was going to say it's a fine line, but it isn't a fine line, really. It's, <laughs> it's, just about, it's just about being positive about your work and understanding that it takes a long time. It is what it is. It goes through a stage that looks pretty horrid. Um, and uh, that's okay because you're going to come out the other side with something amazing. <laughs>